I'm Stephanie. I'm Samantha. And this is our vlog, Fashionably Nerdy. Geek Chic TV. <laughs> You are probably wondering why we are in these adorable pajamas today. We are getting so excited for WonderCon. And on Sunday of WonderCon this year, they are doing something special, or we are doing something special called ComfyCon, where you come to WonderCon in your pajamas. So we thought we would show off our nerdy and adorable pajamas. And the pup, this is Megatron. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Megatron. Geek chic puppy. But yeah, so my pajamas are from Jumpin' Jammers, and they are Star Wars The uh, Dark Side pajamas. Uh, my pajamas are from We Love Fine. They are from Doctor Who. I am obviously the TARDIS. TARDIS. I've always wanted to be a TARDIS. And we love both of these pajamas because they're pretty pajamas, and they have these like nifty little finger holes. Which anything with finger holes is a win for me. Today we're going to visit with Liz Schmidt of Lizzie D Designs and Lizzie D Tees and she's going to teach us ways to make our oversized, crazy, amazing free concerts into something a little bit more form-fitting. So we're hanging out with Liz Schmidt of Lizzie D Designs and Lizzie D Tees and she's going to show us how to take like an oversized kind of shapeless shirt and reconstruct it into something really cool, like my crazy large Game of Thrones shirt. Well, there's about a quarter inch roll here. And this is where the high point shoulder drop starts. It's right there. So we're trying to figure out how far down we want to cut. A pretty basic spec for that would be five inches for like that's a pretty soft scoop. So that's what we're gonna do. You can go as low as like nine if you wanna do a v-neck. It'd be nine inches. As far as the neck width, I'm just going to cut it right here at the neckband. Back neck drop doesn't usually change all that much, so we're just gonna cut there. You need a ruler so you can make some measurements. What I really like are these clear rulers. Um, because you can see what you're marking. French curve. Um, it's really great for marking, as you imagine, curved lines. The next really important thing you need are some really nice scissors. These are Fiskars, razor edged. They are spring loaded for those of us with arthritis. If you don't have really sharp scissors, you're gonna be really sad as you're cutting. Here is just a really soft pencil for marking. Here we go. Uh, so what I'm doing right now is we figured out our neck drop. It's going to be five inches from right here. From the seam line? No, from, from the, the, the shoulder roll. Okay. There's always a quarter inch, at least shoulder roll. Sometimes it's three eighths of an inch. Five inches, that's not very much. I think it's because this is such a big t-shirt. So I'm gonna add another inch. So here we have a really nice square line to center front at the front. It only needs to be about half an inch wide, but um, I mean, what you do is you lay the curve and you're pretty much just connecting the dots and align it up to how you think it'll look good. Kind of like it like this. So we mark that line. Fold the t-shirt in half. A really easy trick to do would be to put a staple in it off of where you're trimming from. And now we're just gonna start cutting. It has just a nice little stitch line here and then I'm just gonna cut right on. Next, we're gonna cut the sleeves. We'll make it cuter. It's just cut the hems off. E eighth of an inch from the, the stitch line. Okay. You're just cutting all that stuff off. And what's really good is those scissors are exactly an eighth of an inch wide, so pretty much just lining up the outer edge of the scissors. These scissors are awesome. I think the last time I cut up a t-shirt, I used like desk scissors, and it went terribly, <laughs> terribly wrong. I want to show you something. <laughs> okay. So as you're, you got, you were only using like that much of the scissors. Oh, really? Yeah, you, you should use the whole thing, and it'll make life, it'll make your cut straighter, and it'll go faster. I don't know how to use it. This has been Learn to Use Scissors with Liz. Yeah. 
No, when I went to fashion school, honestly, they had a whole <laughs> class on using scissors. Well, there like, was like the, the teachers, like you know, talking about it. You know, we're going back to preschool. This is how scissors. I feel like when I like wrap presents and stuff, I, I use the scissors the exact same way. Like I just don't think I use all of this. Now, when I saw this on you, Stephanie, it looked really long. Like it could have been a dress. That's how it's supposed to be, right? <laughs> this shirt came from um, Comic-Con and they had already given out all the ones. So this was a leftover and I got really lucky because instead of like House Stark, it says House of Pancakes. So <laughs> but what I'm going to do is just take this ruler here, nice clear ruler, and we're going to shorten it by two inches exactly. It's really soft though. Yeah, <laughs> it is nice and soft. It's really soft. I wish you could feel that. I've worn okay. it too. But I'm gonna cut the front and the back at the same time. Just make sure your side seams are lined up, your hems are all lined up and flat. It really helps too to have a nice tall table. If you don't have a tall table, can you sit down and do it? Oh yeah, for sure. I, I only sure. have a coffee table. <laughs> well, you can sit on the floor in front of the coffee table, right? It's the only table I own is a coffee table. There we go, okay. The one last thing I wanted to do, though, was take it in a little bit of the side seams to show off Stephanie's awesome figure. So, if you look at the side seam, the camera's here. <laughs> it's really straight right now. So what we're doing is we're going to measure down it's seven inches. Yeah, we're inside out right now. So you can go in as much as I'd say like half an inch. You could probably do more, but I don't want to make it like super extreme. I want to give you a little bit more shape, so it's pretty much coming in two sizes at the um, waist. And then we just connect the dots like that. So you're just making an angled mark from, from the seam to the mark you made. Yeah. And then another like seven inches down. It's like seven inches from the armhole to the waist, and then another seven inches about to the hip. I noticed that it fit pretty well there, so I'm just going to curve it in. There are two schools of thought about how you're supposed to put your pins into the garment that you're stitching. You can either do it crosswise like this, to do it right on the sew line, just like that. But then as you sew, you have, you to, have to pull it out, which is how I'm going to do it. I've got it marked here. I'm going to take it over to this machine. You always back tack a little bit when you start. So, I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Whoa. We're just going to trim off the seam allowance. That will be more comfortable. Just like that. And this doesn't have to be perfect because it's on the inside. That's it. Moment of truth, Stephanie. You want to turn it inside out? Okie dokie. Looks cool from here, but I should try it on. So, now I have this super cool shirt. It looks way better. <laughs> and it's not huge and overwhelming anymore, and it's super cute. So now I can show my uh, Game of Thrones House of Pancakes pride with my cool new fitted shirt. What's your banner? Like pancakes and a field of syrup? My banner is butter. <laughs> Just a pad of butter. So thank you so much, Liz. And you can check out Liz's Etsy or her website. We'll put the links below. I have to say the highlight for me was learning how to use scissors. Yeah, did you even know you didn't know how to use scissors? I did not know I didn't know how to use scissors, but now I know that I don't. <laughs> so you can find Lizzie D Designs or Lizzie D Tees online, and the link is below. And behind us is one of her amazing shirts that she made and also cut up the way she showed us how. If you're going to be at WonderCon this weekend and you see us walking around, please come say hi. We're going to be at WonderCon together. Also, um, our correspondent Xander is going to be there with us as well. So if you see any of the three of us, don't be shy. Come on up. We'll take a picture. We'll put you on the website or on a vlog. And we can't wait to meet you. Also, if you leave a comment in the comment box below, we have a giveaway this week. Do, 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 do. We're giving away a 16, 16 months Minecraft calendar. And we're also giving away some awesome uh, facial moisturizer. So we have something nerdy and something practical. Practical. So uh, leave us a comment in the comment box below and we will let you know if you won. We'll contact you and send these your way. So make sure you like us, subscribe to us, find us on Twitter, on Instagram, Facebook, 
all of the above, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. HBO has renewed Game of Thrones for a fifth and sixth season. That's good. Maybe George R. R. Martin should write books so he has material for a fifth and sixth season. I'm not wearing anything <laughs> <That's> underneath. <sorry. laughs> <laughs> all the buggers. Because <laughs> I feel like all of this is great, B-roll. <laughs>